doors, by their very nature, are exciting and mysterious. Who's on the other side? Family, friend, or stranger? Dogs become on high alert, wondering if this mystery guest is here to lavish treats and affection or to intrude with bad intent. They say to themselves, do I prepare to play or do I prepare to attack? They're barking. They're excited. All of this excitement is happening for one reason. Someone rang the bell. Dogs instinctively want to protect their territory as well as their pack. House dogs have also been conditioned to become excited when visitors come by. A doorbell ringing or a knock on the door for many dogs is a signal that something good is on the other side. A dog barking to let us know that someone's at the door is perfectly acceptable. They're just doing their job. Once we've been alerted, it's our job to manage our dog as we greet and entertain our guests. If you are confident that your dog has a solid down stay or sit stay, you will begin your exercise like this. First, you will place your dog into position far enough away from the door to allow your guests to enter freely. Next, Hi. you'll fill in your guest. I'm training the dog, so if you can just be patient, you can come in quietly and just totally ignore the dogs. Come on in. Good dogs. Very nice. Come on in. Just don't look at them. Good. How you been? How you doing? Nice to see you. Good dogs. Remember, a down or sit stay is an official command, so don't forget, praise and release. Okay, now you can say hi. If your obedience is not at this level, try using a tether. I always recommend having your tether ready at all times. You never know when an unexpected guest may arrive. You can use a banister, table leg, or doorknob using this technique. When deciding where to put your tether, make sure it's anchored far enough away to allow your guests to enter comfortably should your dog make his way to the end of the leash. When not in use, simply tuck it away. If you're tethering your dog without any obedience command, your exercise will look like this. training the dog so just come on in just don't look at him or anything just walk right on in okay don't worry about him we're just training him right now just come on in this way and uh, I'll have you say hi to him in just a second after you've greeted your guest and given them the instructions go back to your dog untie his tether and bring him into the room on leash him just yet we're gonna wait for him he's still a little excited so we're just gonna wait for him to calm down and when he calms down then I'll let you say hi to him or give him a treat okay. or something like that so how you been the nice part about this technique is your dog gets to be included with the company and your guests aren't put in the uncomfortable situation of getting jumped on this is particularly important with non-dog people through this exercise your dog also learns that settling down brings good things it's really important that you don't forget to praise good behavior. As your dog calms down, allow your guests to say hi, if they wish. The idea here is to recondition your dog to realize that a guest coming to visit doesn't mean they can behave like a maniac and that good behavior gets rewarded. Practice this exercise as often as you can, even if you're alone. 
It's good for your dog to become desensitized to door knocking, doorbells, and the front door being open in general. Start on leash with no obedience commands, then work your way up to a down stay or a sit stay on the leash. The nice thing about this is that if they do break, they can only get to the end of the leash. If this does happen, simply put them back into position and continue with the exercise. One day, you'll be able to remove the leash altogether. Enjoy your company. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.